Hello, everybody, and greetings from the Delta College Planetarium. My name is Brian, and I'm here to bring you another episode in our continuing series about the constellations. Last time, we finished the Winter Circle of Constellations. Today, we're going to take a closer look at another winter constellation just outside the Winter Circle. Like with most constellations in the winter, to find it, we start at Orion. Remember that Orion is easy to spot because of the three bright stars in Orion's belt. Once we've found the belt stars and the rest of Orion, look down. Below Orion's feet are a set of stars that, when taken together, form this sort of two-lobed shape, something like a squashed peanut. These stars form Lepus, the hare. The two-lobed shape forms the rabbit's body and head, and a V-shape of stars forms the ears stretching out towards the star Rigel. Lepus is a fairly small constellation, and it's not particularly bright, but it should still be easy to find and identify in moderately dark skies. Lepus looks almost as though it's being chased by Orion's larger hunting dog, Canis Major. Lepus has one Messier object. Located just below the center of Lepus, Messier 79 is a globular cluster with a slightly stranger shape than usual. Globular clusters typically look more or less spherical. M79 is a little spikier than most, some observers describing it as starfish-shaped. M79 is also unusual for another reason. We can see it during northern winter. Globular clusters are groups of thousands of stars, sometimes tens of thousands of stars, pulled by their mutual gravity into dense balls of stars. These clusters orbit their host galaxies, in our case, the Milky Way. The intense gravitational pull of the galaxy should cause the globular clusters to congregate around the core of the galaxy. And this is mainly what we find here in the Milky Way. Most of the observable globular clusters are hanging out around the core. We can see the core of the Milky Way high during northern summer nights. But during northern winter, the night side of the Earth is facing away from the center of the galaxy, towards the outer rim. M79 is out of place. How did it get there? There are a couple of hypotheses. Maybe M79 just happened to form out here from older stars than is typical. That's possible. Another hypothesis is that M79 is alien to the Milky Way, and that it may be a globular cluster from another galaxy that's being gobbled up by the Milky Way. Recently, astronomers have discovered what appears to be a concentration of older stars in the direction of Canis Major that may have been a small dwarf galaxy that has since been broken apart and consumed by the Milky Way. M79 may have originally been part of this Canis Major dwarf galaxy and found itself a new home here in the Milky Way. But these findings are still in dispute, and there is not yet scientific consensus to their veracity. So if it's clear where you are tonight, go out and look for Lepus the Hare below the feet of Orion. If you have a telescope, take it out and try to find that strange, maybe alien, globular cluster, Messier 79. That's it for today. Next time we'll explore another constellation in the night sky. This is Brian from the Delta College Planetarium wishing you clear skies.